Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is gonna be a little bit different other video than I usually do. In today's video we're going to talk about the most common reasons people use for not being able to become fluent in a foreign language. And I think you have used some of those same reasons before. Okay, let's start with the reason number one. I'm too old to learn a new language. Many people often say that the older you are, the less flexible your brain is. Young people learn much faster. Age is a significant factor in language learning. But research has shown that it's not always true. Although it may be easier for children to learn a new language, adults can also become fluent by practicing and being dedicated. In fact, studies have found that adults may have some benefits over children in learning a new language, like knowing about grammar and using analytical thinking skills. No, I'm too old for learning is usually a bad reason to say. I do think that it's never too late to learn a new language or start something new. The greatest thing about it is that it keeps your brain active. Learning a foreign language can help keep your brain active and sharp. It can improve your memory and cognitive function, which is good for your overall mental health. Some people might be afraid to learn a new language because making mistakes while learning can be uncomfortable for many of us. I feel like one of the most common reasons why so many people always say that I'm too old to learn a new language is that they just feel bad when they make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Reason number two is I don't have enough time. Time is valuable, but it's necessary to prioritize learning a language. You don't have to spend several hours every day studying to become fluent, but practicing regularly over a long period of time is what matters most. Try to make a language learning a part of your daily routine, such as listening to podcasts or practicing vocabulary while driving or walking outside. Like I told you before, guys, I was obsessed with learning Turkish like a year ago. And one of the reasons why my Turkish is not improving right now is that I don't have enough time. But in reality, I can always find time for doing the things that are important to me. And to be honest with you, the reason, the main reason why my Turkish is not improving right now is because it's not my priority. But I really do want to make it my priority and study the language every day. And what helps me usually is making a daily habit and telling myself, okay, Kate, every day at 5 p.m. you have to study Turkish. Before we continue to practice, I just want to say if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. If you like my content, you can send me a super thanks and you can use donation alerts if you want to make me a little bit happier. Reason number three is I'm not good at languages. Many people think that they were not born with the ability to learn languages easily. But actually, learning languages is a skill that can get better with practice. You may need to try different methods and strategies and find what works best for you. For example, some people may prefer learning a language with textbooks and grammar exercises. But I don't think it's the best method, but for some people it works. While others may prefer a more immersive approach with conversation practice, which works a lot better, I do believe that using a real and genuine method when you try to focus on the input works the best. And I have a video about it right here. You can check it out and know why some people practice a lot and they still can't speak a language and what you need to do to make English learning a fun activity. Actually, I do think that many people who work a lot, who study English a lot, may even get offended when you just say, oh, you know, you're just talented. You have a natural ability to learn languages. What? Another significant aspect is dealing with constant criticism, which can be a challenging experience, especially when it comes to our mistakes. When people constantly criticize even your small mistakes, it can make you feel really bad and demotivated. You might start to think that you are not capable of doing things which is not true. 
Mistakes are just a natural part of our learning. But listen, we all make mistakes. And again, guys, on my channel, I have a lot of videos where I talked about why grammar exercises might be so boring for some people and what you can do to change it. Reason number four is I don't live in a country where the language is spoken. Although it can be helpful to live in a country where the language is spoken, it's not necessary to become fluent. You can still learn the language by using online resources and language exchange programs to immerse yourself in it. You might want to think about joining language learning groups like Speaking Club or finding language exchange partners to practice speaking with. Reason number five is I don't have anyone to practice with. Having someone to practice with can be helpful, but again, it's not necessary. To become fluent, you can practice speaking with native speakers online or through language exchange programs or even practice speaking to yourself or recording yourself speaking. If you're wondering how I improved my English without talking to anyone, you can watch this video. I'm originally from a small town in Russia and when I started learning English, I only had the opportunity to practice English with only non-native speakers. However, I have to say that my teachers were absolutely incredible. They made me fall in love with the language. Reason number six is I'm too shy to speak the language. A lot of people feel shy when speaking a new language, but it's important to know that making mistakes is normal when learning. So don't be afraid to speak up and make mistakes because they can actually help you improve. Think about finding a group of people who are learning the same language or a partner who can help you practice speaking in a friendly and encouraging way. This can boost your confidence and help you improve. A supportive environment is really important. Having people around who are helpful and encouraging is really important. If the people around you always criticize your English, you will not improve. If the people around you support you and cheer you on, you will improve. You can build your confidence by practicing speaking in easy situations like ordering food at a restaurant or asking for directions. These simple daily situations can help you get more comfortable speaking the language. I had trouble being able to speak in a foreign language when I lived in Turkey. But I knew that speaking up in daily situations could be helpful. And that is exactly what I was doing with Turkish. I always tried to speak Turkish when I ordered food or asked for directions. Well, I've mentioned some of the most common reasons people use for not becoming fluent in a foreign language. If you find yourself using any of these reasons, try to change your mindset and at the same time be kind to yourself. It's completely normal to come up with reasons and we all do that. However, you always have to remind yourself what your goal is. What's your goal in English learning? If your goal is becoming more advanced, more fluent in English, then yes, you should avoid relying on those reasons and instead focus on the active language learning. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more language learning tips. And I'll see you in the next one.